With the huge success of drones like DJI Mavic Pro, many new pilots have entered the hobby with little or no experience in flying drones. Unfortunately, this means a lot of crashes too. Watch along and see if you are guilty in one of those common drone pilot mistakes. Welcome to the channel Drones and Electric Unicycles, where we provide weekly tips, tricks and tutorials to help you get the best out of your equipment. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the latest from us. Most crashes are pilot related and it's often a result of failed judgment or not knowing the limitation or expected behavior of your drone. Most will say that you need to read the manual before the first flight. Uh, and I can only recommend that. At least that will give you a rough idea what your drone is capable of. But let's be realistic. Most pilots don't do that. So watch this countdown of nine pilot mistakes. If you can avoid these, that might help save your precious aircraft. Even knowing the manual will not help you when things start to go wrong. Remember, in some cases, you only have a fraction of a moment to react. The fact that you only have a fraction of a moment to react, that makes many new pilots uh, panic and do irrational uh, movements that eventually leads to a crash. The best thing you can do as a new pilot is to avoid putting yourself in situations where you have to act under pressure. Let's begin the countdown. Drone pilot mistake number nine, CSC. Some drones has an emergency option, CSC, combination stick command. This command can be used to start and stop the motors by the use of the stick on the remote. This also works during flight and this will cause immediately motors shut off and make your drone drop like a brick. No need to say this is fatal, so keep your sticks away from center low. Drone pilot mistake number eight, unsuited environment or flying conditions. Pilot fails to make proper assessment of the environment or flying conditions before takeoff and decides to fly in uh, confined areas between tall buildings, in woods or even in areas with strong magnetic interference. Until you're comfortable with your sticks, I recommend that you only fly in wide open areas with plenty of room for errors. Another very common uh, pilot mistake is to fly in strong wind. It's all very nice uh, when you fly downwind, but you might not have enough power to make it back uh, when you're flying against the wind. It's often forgotten that the wind is much stronger in higher altitude. This is why if you're stuck in a situation like that, you should lower your altitude and bring your bird back. But watch the environment so you don't crash flying low. A question for you. Have you crashed your drone and why? Share your experience with your fellow flyers from the drones and electric unicycles community. Often the best advice is found among your comments, so don't be shy. I will go first and share where I'm guilty. Drone pilot mistake number seven, disorientation. Drone pilots get disoriented and lose a sense of orientation. This typically happens if you fly the drone far away. It can be really difficult to see which way it's pointing. This is not a problem as long as your position hold and camera feed is alive. But if you fly without camera and GPS, you should uh, avoid flying too far away from your starting position. Drone pilot mistake number six, not understanding return to home. With return to home, you have a very powerful tool to bring your drone back. Return to home can either be initiated manually from the controller or it can be triggered by certain parameters like critical low battery. Return to home is not fail safe. You need to make sure that uh, you don't fly under obstacles uh, when it's initiated. Also, you need to make sure that you don't have an obstructed return path with buildings that are higher than the default uh, return to home height set in the software. The sensors might save you, but uh, the drone can be stuck behind the obstacle and not being able to return to home. Also, you need to be aware that the home point needs to be set correct. If not, the drone will go to the previous home point. It's easy to imagine the trouble that this could lead to. But normally you can check the home position on a minimap in the user interface, at least for TGI products. Drone pilot mistake number five, trusting the sensors. Flying out of sight, even if the law in many countries does not allow it, many new pilots uh, get cocky and fly way beyond uh, visual range. Even sophisticated obstacle avoidant drones are vulnerable to smaller objects like branches and wires. Thin objects are likely not being picked up by the sensors and will not show up on the camera feed. The same risk for collision applies when you use the automated flight modes and blindly trust the sensor system. You need to be aware that the sensor system might be disabled or limited due to factors like light or a specific flight mode. Sport mode on DJI Mavic Pro is a good example where the sensors are disabled. Drone pilot mistake number four, flying backward. It's very popular to fly backwards to capture those great looking shots, but most drones are not equipped with rear obstacle avoidance uh, systems. This makes it more risky flying backwards with no sensors and no camera feed. Make sure to check your surroundings before flight and uh, keep a safe altitude above uh, potential obstacles. Drone pilot mistake number three, flying your batteries too low. 
With the telemetry system of the DJI Mavic Pro, your battery status is known all the time. This makes it very tempting uh, to push the limit and uh, keep on flying. But you need to make sure that you have enough power to be able to return. If critical battery level has been reached, the drone will auto land and you can't do anything to prevent it. Make sure to set the first alarm to around 30% to give you enough room to bring your bird back. If you return and reach critical low battery level while descending, return to home will be activated and the drone will shoot back up into the air to the selected return to home height. This counteractive response might confuse and scare you, but don't fight it. Let the return to home procedure take over and land your drone safely. Drone pilot mistake number two, returning nose in. Many pilots will try to fly the drone back nose in, where control will act opposite. If you push the stick to the left, the drone will go right, and with the stick to the right, it will go left. This all works very nicely if you're far away from obstacles. But if you get close to an obstacle that you want to avoid, many pilots will actually end up crashing into it because of their intuitive reaction. A good example caught on video is I Justine destroying her GoPro Karma while landing it nose in. So keep the back of the drone facing you while bring it in. Drone pilot mistake number one, flying indoor. As far as I can see, flying indoor is uh, probably the most plausible cause of crashing your drone. With bad GPS reception, the, the drone will have to rely on a downward sensor system and the floor structure to keep its position. Advanced drones like a DJI Mavic Pro is equipped with sensor systems like that and it works quite well. But even with this sensor system in place, uh, the drone drifts slightly and it makes it harder to control in a confined environment. If you need to fly indoor, make sure to switch to a less stick sensitive mode and for all cases avoid hitting the return to home as this might make your drone skyrocket through the ceiling. Thank you and I hope this video has contributed to make your drone flight a little bit safer and uh, prevented some potential crashes with this countdown. If you like this video, press the like button below. Don't hold back on the comments where you also can read which of the drone pilot mistakes I'm guilty in. Have a nice day and see you on the next one.